Hi, my name is Sachin Bhatnagar. In this video, we'll use jQuery's fade in and fade out methods to create a photo slideshow. In this screencast, we'll create a simple photo slideshow using the fade in and fade out methods. This slideshow will loop through a given set of images by fading them in and out in a layout that looks like this. The actual HTML layout of the slideshow structure mainly contains an unordered list where each list item contains an image tag with a given image. I am using 5 images here, but you are free to increase or decrease the number of images as you wish without making any changes to the script. To build this slideshow, we require two kinds of functions. The preloader method first loads and caches the images in before the slideshow starts playing. If we do not use a preloader, then images may or may not load up on time to show up in the slideshow, leading to empty slides. By using the preloader, the images are first downloaded and cached and then the slideshow begins. We have already included the preloader method, so you don't have to build one yourself. Though I will walk you through this function before we begin with the slideshow method. The slideshow method itself runs the actual slideshow and uses the fade in and fade out methods. Open the slideshow underscore begin dot htm file from the accompanying zip archive to begin. The actual slideshow element is an unordered list where each list item contains an image tag with the images. I already have a portion of the code pre-built for you and I'm going to walk you through it so you understand it completely before we build our slideshow functionality. First up, we have a couple of variables. The slides variable accesses the list items within the slideshow unordered list since that is what we would be playing with all throughout this example. Instead of calling the selector again and again, we have cached it in a variable. Next, we are using a variable called slide count which is set to zero. This would be used to iterate through the list items. The total slides variable is set to obtain the number of list items in the unordered list by accessing the length property of the slides variable. And finally, we have an empty array with the variable name of slide cache which will be used to cache all the images in by the preloader function. The preloader function is in fact quite simple to understand. This function is an immediately invoked function expression or an iffy. Iffies run automatically when the page loads up and the jQuery ready method fires. What we are doing here in the preloader function is checking to see if our slide count variable is less than the number of slides or list items and if so, we are instantiating a new JavaScript image object and assigning it to the slide cache array variable where the array's index value is equal to the slide count variable. Once instantiated, we then set the source attribute of this image object to the image file as fetched from the image tag within our list item. The first time that this sequence runs, the slide count variable is set to zero, hence by using the equals method on the slide selector with the slide count variable, we are fetching the first list item and we are getting hold of its image tags source attribute value. Next, the onload function executes when the image is loaded and cached in the previous step. This is where we simply increment the slide count variable by one and we reload the preloader function again. Since the slide count value has incremented, the if statement again checks to see if the value is less than the total number of slides and the process repeats. Once all images are cached this way, in line numbers 26 and 27, we are resetting the slide count variable to zero since it would be reused in the slideshow function and we are calling the slideshow function immediately. And this is what we will build. One small thing to note here is that typically JavaScript functions should begin with the lowercase character. And here the slideshow function has been so named only to make it obvious and readable. So start by accessing the list items by using the cached selector variable slides. 
followed by the equals operator where the index value would be fetched using the slide count variable which you should note is currently set to zero since we reset it in the preloader once all images were cached in next we will simply use fade in with the duration set to one second followed by the delay method which will pause this statement further execution for two seconds then we'll pipe in a fade out with its duration set to one second and we'll also write out its complete event handler function which will be executed once the fade out animation ends inside this function we will use a ternary operator to check if the value of our slide count variable is less than the value of the total number of slides minus one If so, then we'll increment the slide count variable by one. Or else we'll reset it back to zero. We then simply call the slideshow method itself in a recursive and self invoked manner. By doing this, we have essentially created a looping function which keeps calling itself again and again and the ternary operator increments the slide count variable such that we access successive list items to fade in and out from the display when all slides have been shown the slide count variable is reset to zero thus restarting the slideshow from the first image so go ahead and try this out now Feel free to watch the screencast again if the concepts presented here are not clear at the first instance. So that wasn't too difficult, was it? To summarize, we used a preloader function that loops through the unordered list to load up and cache all images before firing up the slideshow function. And we used the fade in and fade out methods for building the actual slideshow. So this is how you can create a photo slideshow using jQuery's fade in and fade out methods. This was just a sample of my course jQuery Beyond the Basics now available on Learnable. If you like this screencast then head over to Learnable and I hope to see you in the course. Do check it out.